le preguntó qué es la verdad en cuanto a los temas LGBT y en general, y él le dijo que cada uno tiene su propia verdad y por ende cualquiera puede hacer lo que se le venga en gana. Charlie Kirk, entonces, le preguntó si Hitler tenía su propia verdad y por ende se justificaría su actuar. El progre dijo que sí y varios dijeron WTF y lo verás en este video. En él verás a Charlie Kirk conversar con un tío totalmente ideologizado que piensa que cada uno tiene su mundo, su verdad y que debe actuar conforme a lo que piensa que es correcto. Mira el video completo y dime si su manera de pensar es ridícula y peligrosa. Pero antes, si este tipo de contenido te gusta, suscríbete a nuestro canal. Tenemos la meta a mediano plazo de llegar a los 100.000 suscriptores. Sin mayor dilación, empecemos. ¿Pueden can, can have, have babies? No. Ok, eso es lo que pensé. Cuando dices que es natural que no tengo la decisión de quién me marido. Es natural que no tengo la decisión de quién me marido. No es cierto. Espera un segundo. ¿Por qué es tu propia decisión? matter more than what is true. Uh, so it, what is true? What is exactly. What is true? That's what, what we've been that talking mean? about the last two hours. What is true? What is good? What is beautiful? This is what you guys should be. This is what we should be thinking. Oh, does it come down to you? Yes, it does. Come on. Oh. So let me ask you a question. Oh, yeah. So it comes down to you. Wait. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Come on. No, we hold it. So was Hitler right when it comes down to you? No. Why? Because he just fundamentally degrees, disagrees with my beliefs about your beliefs. But exactly. Hitler's, Hitler's beliefs the Jews. Why was he wrong? Oh, sorry. Can I just quickly say something about how we just went from talking about the government controlling marriage to Hitler for some reason? No, but you, I, 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 I've listened to your argument control. for 20 minutes. It makes no sense. Totally respectful. Like, you've made no sense for 20 minutes. So I'm going to get to Please somebody guys, else. So. Listen to what you just said. Yeah. I mean, yeah. all I've been talking about is the government yeah. controlling marriage. I, I've been super it's patient. Clear, I've been super patient. It makes no uh, sense. So I can say things don't make sense all day. I mean, it's really not that hard. Yeah, got it. Okay, so just question. So why was Hitler wrong? Why was Hitler wrong? I mean, I can, you can write a whole essay about that. Well, tell me, tell me one sentence as to why Hitler was objectively wrong. To me? I mean, to no, me, no, no, no. he was right. Of course he was. So, that, so there's something above you and above Hitler that we're comparing right to. What is that something? Morality. Where do we get that from? How you come up, where you're from, your parents, your culture, I mean, the place you live. I mean, a lot of different So are, are some moralities better or right, more right than wrong than other moralities? I would say no, because it just comes down to you personally. Okay, so the Taliban believes it's okay to rape eight-year-old boys called boys. Are they wrong? To me, yes, they are wrong, but to themselves, they think it's right. Is there... <laughs> are, are they objectively wrong? Okay, what is an objective? What is the objective? Well, hold on. Objectively. Looking According outside... To what? Right and wrong. That comes down to me. And to me, they're wrong. But to them, they're right. Wow. I mean, what? That is how it is? So, so let me ask you. Okay. So the, 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 the Nazi guards at... They thought they were doing right. Were they yeah. doing right? No. In your opinion or objectively? In my opinion, no. But what if they were to say we were doing right? Well, then we have an argument, me and them. And then we have a fight, and then we have a war, and then it is what it is. That's how it is. When somebody goes and a woman here on campus, are they wrong? Yes. Why? Because that is something you should not do. Oh, so they should not do. They Hold on a second. You just did a should statement. <laughs> you didn't do a should statement with the Taliban with little boys. What does should mean? I mean what are you comparing should to? Myself. Are you? Yes. So it's your morality that yes. triumphs over any objective laws. I would, I mean, not technically. I mean, at the end of the day, I can do whatever I want. I mean, I'll end up in jail. I'll end up, you know, wherever I end up. But, you know, it's whatever world you live in. Is that the way we should design society? Everyone does what's ever right in their own eyes? I mean, no, because it would be kind of chaos at the end of the day. I, I agree. So then what standard should we then derive morality from other than opinion? I mean, there's a lot of standards across the world. I mean, wherever you go, there's different life standards. I mean, the uh, life I, standards we have here versus South America, Asia, uh, I Africa, agree. it's all completely different. Are some so better no, than others? Not done. Are some better than others? I mean, it comes down to where you're from. I think, wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. I think the standard we have here in America is one of the best ones. But well, now and you're I using different words. No, no, let me Should, finish, let me best, finish. so some things are better than others. 
And then the question yeah, is, what is the ultimate good? You're climbing the ladder, you're getting closer. It comes down to you. Does it? Yes, it does. What is the ultimate good? It's my world. You know, I live in my own world with my things. What I think is good is what I think is good. You don't understand that's one of the most narcissistic yes, things. Yes, it is. I am a narcissist. So what? So what? What if everyone acted the way you just articulated? What would that world look like? I have no idea. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. So you probably agree that's a terrible world to yes, live in. Yes, it, it would be. But thank God not everybody's like me. Yes. Thank God. You said it not us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We, we, have, we have clarity. Thank you. Yep, we do. You got anything else you want to talk about? There's a lot more. Uh, I, I think I understand your worldview pretty well. Yes. All about me, no one be like me. You're I mean, but, I mean well, so what are you trying to get at, though? Is it's obvious, and I've been doing this the whole time. There is a transcendent, eternal, external so morality a, so you're, okay, so that you exists. Say, okay, so you say there is an objective good in the Of course bad. there is, yes. And the, the denial of that is only something we entertain because of how insane modern culture has become. How has it gone insane? We say men give birth. I don't say that. The Biden administration does. That's not me. They say the chest feed. I know, because it's all about you. I got that, okay? Yeah, so we, 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 we've been through yeah. that. Only about you, right? Exactly. Center of the universe. 100%, 100%. It's Copernicus over yep. here, right? That's me. So, so yes, we are now in a postmodern age uh -huh. where it says in the scriptures, man will do what is ever right in his own eyes. So the scripture is right. Of course it is. Yes. Says but, who? Okay, says God, but okay, I can get wait, through wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. What is a God? Jehovah, Adonai, the oneness, okay, ethical okay. monotheism that built the world you live in. So an omni, omnipotent being. Omnipotent, omnipotent, not omnipotent, okay, whatever, but that's okay. Gotcha. So Anything, omnipotent, way. omniscient. I mean, I could get theological okay. if you want, but even lesser than that, C.S. Lewis developed it called the Tao. Okay. okay? So even this is this is more agreeable. I'm not. Okay, I'm okay. a Christian, but every cult, almost any functioning culture, has something called the way. Gotcha. Meaning that yes, there is a true. better way of living uh -huh. than other ways. Yes. And if you compare Confucianism, 100%. you compare Roman, yeah. Greek. Yeah. There's always a way of life. And it's very yeah. similar, and they have some harmonies, and we must develop in the West what is the way. We have said to our kids, there is no way. Do whatever you want. Hate to say it, you articulated it beautifully. Este tema es algo que siempre nos hace dar vueltas en la cabeza. Las normas morales. Han notado que varían un montón entre culturas, pero aquí está el detalle. Aunque cada quien tenga sus reglas, hay ciertos límites éticos que casi todo el mundo acepta para proteger la vida y la dignidad humana. No es cuestión de ir por el mundo, hacer daño a quienes nos rodean y justificarnos con la idea peligrosa que propone el progre mi vida mi moral solo yo 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 y yo es aquí donde viene la pregunta filosófica todas las perspectivas culturales son igualmente válidas o hay valores universales que deberíamos acordar qué piensan ustedes al respecto dejen su comentario yo creo que es necesario tener reglas éticas comunes imagínense el desorden si cada quien hiciera lo que quisiera sin un mínimo de consenso sobre sobre derechos humanos y justicia. Sería un caos total. Ahora, la idea de estándares éticos universales suena a algo grande. Básicamente se trata de principios morales fundamentales que se aplican a todos sin importar religión, cultura o cuánto tengas en el bolsillo. La misión es establecer un código ético que respalde la dignidad y los derechos humanos. Aunque haya diferencias culturales en cómo aplicamos estos principios, hay algunos valores éticos que son como el pan de cada día en todo el mundo. Hablemos de respeto. Respetar la dignidad humana es clave en la ética universal. Es reconocer que cada uno de nosotros tiene un valor intrínseco y merece ser tratado con respeto y consideración. No importa de dónde vengas, todos merecemos eso. Y ahora, la parte de evitar causar daño sin razón y procurar el bienestar de los demás son principios básicos. ¿A quién no le gusta que le hagan el bien y que eviten hacerle daño? Año. 
Por último, la autonomía. Este es un principio que nos deja ser dueños de nuestras decisiones, nos permite tomar decisiones informadas sobre nuestras vidas y respetar las elecciones de los demás, siempre y cuando no estemos cruzando límites y afectando a los demás. Y aquí viene lo bonito. La autonomía también respeta que todos somos diferentes. Puede que no estemos de acuerdo en todo, pero eso está bien. La autonomía nos dice que debemos tolerar las distintas perspectivas siempre y cuando, y ojo, siempre y cuando no estemos haciendo daño sin razón. Aunque tengamos nuestras diferencias, hay ciertos principios éticos que todos deberíamos tener en común. Porque al final del día, respetar la vida y la dignidad humana, evitar causar daño innecesario y permitir que cada quien tome sus decisiones, eso suena a un mundo mucho mejor. ¿Tú qué opinas? Déjamelo saber en los comentarios. Si este video te gustó, dale like, comenta el video y compártelo. Gracias, hasta luego.